Hello, my sparks, and welcome back to more Let's Play Castlevania Aria Sorrow. Last time, well, we beat Death and beat the Clock Tower. I also showed off that what our goal is, which is the Solar Ring. Dang it! Back here! Now go this way. Oh, I may have went the wrong one. Oh, well, this one still works, I believe. And dying first. Get the elven, elven cloak, elven robe. Tasty meat. And then we meet this enemy. The Mayor. This thing is just annoying to just deal with. Chatted sword made of ice, which will be kind of useful for the water level because a lot of water enemies are weak to ice. This guy isn't though, this guy's just annoying because he just takes so many hits. Cognazos. Warning, Cognazos are really annoying. Oh, don't remember if it's. Okay, there we go. There's the save point. I was trying to find the save point first. But I didn't remember where it was! We'll have to come back through here anyways, no matter what. Oh, I can't get back up there. Unless this is a ledge. That is a ledge. Uh, there's a variation of the Kagnazo, which is really annoying. We'll be talking about that much, much later. And we've got the Dead Crusader. Oh. Pretty good, a pretty good sword. Maybe 
maybe it's no, maybe it... Super Potion, okay, we'll need that no matter what. Maybe I am going the wrong way for the item I'm thinking of. The problem is it's a very bottom up place, so Needle's not really useful. I mean, it does have a use in a boss fight, technically. I believe we technically do have to go up here. You know what? Flash Golem. Okay, this is actually kind of a useful thing to run into. The, the Flash Golem, not the Nightmare. Hopefully it's Soul Drops, because the Soul is actually going to be something that's kind of useful. You know what? Mr. Tain. Nope, it is... Not that good as Rehab Sword. Uh... We didn't get it. Dang it. Ah, uh, nightmare. Goodbye, Nightmare. Oh god. We have more walking stuff to do. Okay, I'm going back because I need to get up there. It's not where the thing I keep hinting at is. But no, it's just some... Okay, what the hell? Okay, no, we can't actually get up there without perfect timing, I'm not... do that. Bunch of money. Uh, quickly just checking a quick map. Alright, oh, this is the place with the gun! I forgot about that! Okay, so yeah, we if we want to get
I'm also double checking, I'm also technically also double checking to see if this is actually possible via the internet while I'm also checking. <laughs> I hate this boat. Oh my god! <sighs> okay, we can. I never. I literally just got the answer of yes as well. Oh, right! This. this annoying devil. Mostly because of that big. Big ass projectile. Slime's actually going to be sort of a bit of a interesting. Okay, we're not going to be able to get up there. I think we're getting... Oh, we've got fish head. Uh, that's pretty good. Giant worm is a really annoying, and it's mostly because of how. It's always on slopes, and I believe it can actually respawn. Also, I apologize for the flashing! Because, God, it, it is. very intense. I forgot about this. Good. Okay, we'll be switching to this for a bit. But we'll probably be switching back to the mistletoe. The and rehab sword for a bit. Okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. Oh, we're not because of that! Oh, great, we've got to go all the way around. back to the How many notes I'm having to make, honestly. I can't 
can get that weapon. Oh, there's so much stuff I can get. Keep forgetting about Undyne, which does not help. Though seriously, why do they need to do this? There's a killer fish here for some reason. This room is never explained other than probably being a grinding spot for killer fish. Alright, the Unes, now they can reproduce. First of all, save, because, uh, no, we're not dealing with this. Second of all, that also was not the... So I'll probably have to go deeper, which sucks. Missile chain. Oh right, that thing. That's a flying fish. We're not getting that for a long while. Oh, so this is where the big golden is. Yeah, it's worth. It's in the same room as the flying fish, so uh, be careful. I didn't know you could cut the disc. Huh. Oh yeah. Also, the slimes are the same. They're just different color because of variation. All oh, right. This is the other place where you can get Mandragora. I don't use it because this place sucks, because <laughs> it really hurts the eyes. Oh god damn it, arch, arch demons. Medusa heads do not help. Seriously, why the hell are Medusa heads here? I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up. No! Ah! Screw off Medusa heads and mermen! No. It's not trying to do that. It's so sad. Okay, good. 
turned into the Osafune. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Poison worm. Yeah, we're already going on from the giant worm to the poison worm. We're not here for this. We're here for here. There's three different species, different creatures placed on here. And we can get through here without using one of them. Sadly, we don't have, we can't complete this whole room, but... Okay, we did have... Kali! God damn it, seeing it's actually messing with me, because I'm used... To... Now we get speed! And we get the everything. We're actually going to switch up to the everything, because, uh... Yeah, we're going to need it. This is an area we don't need to be in at all, I don't believe. It's the Forbidden Area. Yeah, I'm just going to... Actually, wait. I don't think we need this anymore for a while. So we'll get Ghost Dancer just to increase the chances a little bit. Uh, Get death. Mm. Oh, yeah, these enemies are going to be much more powerful, so be careful. Screw off, Mud Men. <sighs> these guys. Because they blend in so well. That's the only reason why I hate them. Gargoyle. Okay. Ah! Okay, first, go through here, because I believe. Bone Pillar! An ancient book one's here. What does Ancient Book 1 say? The first spirit is a demon form of Hellfire. Don't know what that means. Don't know what it's about. What I do know is, I got shot in the ankle. Yeah, so that's the only reason why I went upwards instead of down. Because I realized, oh wait, this is the room where we can just go up and get a save point. Oh. A lot of Une. Be careful where the vines are. She's also really annoying. So be careful. Thankfully, once we're through this, a lot of Unes will not be that bad. Goodbye, Poison Worm. And... Oh, we have to actually go long around. Oh, we okay, just got to sit down. Oh, well. Uh, and yeah, we have to go back to Skula. Thankfully, there are no enemies here, but we want to actually slay. But if we go over here... There's some fish heads, first of all. Take this out. We get the best sword for a while. Because it's pretty much endgame game. Look at these stats! Overhead swing, we're not switching to anything else for the entire game, except maybe to show off the gun because the gun's hilarious to me. 
I'm surprised that people there, there was somebody that actually did a gun on the playthrough. There is some more to this, so let's continue on. God damn, Kaganazo! I know it's not their fault this time. And yeah, they're not weak to light, so uh... Flame Demon! This is actually the one the, <laughs> the book was talking about. This is actually something we'll need for, um, for getting the true ending. I will state right now, don't worry about needing the Soul Eater Ring. The Soul Eater Ring is not important for getting it. All the souls, for this, in this game at least, are high likely to happen and are not carried by any demons that are uncommon, mint or rare. All the demons are actually really common. Should we? No. And we won't need to worry about not being able to get them. And there is two things here. First of all, the Joyous. Beautiful sword made of gold and it sucks. It's self order. But, if you're thinking about this, no, it's a mimic. Don't touch it. Touch it, it injures you, and laughs at you. But I'm going to grind on this for a bit because there's only three mim mimics in the entire game. And they are not in easy to reach places. One of them is a place where we'll be going eventually. So, I'm going to apologise. I'm going... Well, it would also help if I actually had Ghost Dancer. I don't believe we've got anything else that boosts luck. Yeah, no. Get rid of Gargoyle. Come on, Mimic. Just drop your soul. Because the Mimic soul is actually kind of... Don't you actually be kind of useful? Which is why I'm, I'm willing to grind on it. Super potion, so if I do need to use it, I'll have to, well, if I have to use it, I'll have to back out effectively. So, come on, I mean, I could just say this is where I'm gonna end the episode and just say I will get back to the nearest save point. Because honestly, I do want to try and get it. Well, I got the Ripper without trying to, because I wasn't trying to. I actually dropped down and was like, you know what, let's kill these guys too. Uh, you know what, because we, because we do the, I think it's the Mimic at least, that's the one that... Okay, so if I'm correct, the Mimic is the one that actually gives you money if you with more damage you take. There's a trick with it and you can use it to make infinite money. So uh yeah. You know what? Yeah I will end the end this episode here and I will meet you for, for you guys, I'll be back at the save points in the study. The place, the, the place where we were just at. That where we temporarily left. So, for a moment, I thought I got in. Ah, 
I will see you guys then, and we'll continue exploring this place, and I will try and clear out. Also, if you want to know how to get that flying fish, uh, we can't do that until we get a certain time-solving ability. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to deal with that much, much later. So, uh, yeah. So, I'll see you Sparks later. Tur, Tur for then. Xenor and Azuma, signing out.